you for a while really were the poster child for being you can have fun when you're a mom and you can drink when you're a mom well I mean I never really thought that I drank that much and I certainly didn't think that I drank that much on play dates so I felt the issue was kind of um, misguided because you know I just felt like if you're hanging out with your girlfriends and you're having a glass of wine how is that different from you know dads hanging out with their kids at a ball game having a beer like to me it just didn't seem that different or that it should be such a frowned upon you know I just feel like it's like women shaming other women so I just felt like I wanted to stick up for other moms that are thinking it's fun to have a couple drinks do you think you were drinking more after you became a mother than you did before yeah <laughs> for sure why um, I think for me, I was an anxious person, and becoming a mom definitely played into my anxieties. I always wondered if I was, you know, doing enough, being responsible enough, being nurturing enough, and and I think that I drank at night when the kids went to bed, kind of to ease the anxiety. So how did you go from being somebody who celebrated the having fun, uh, having a few cocktails every night? Uh, yeah. at play dates. How did you go from, from that kind of mom to all of a sudden realizing, as you put in your blog one day, I have a problem with this. I had, you know, infant twins and my life went crazy. I was, you know, anxious all the time. I had the hormones. I had three kids now at home. Well, I started drinking again with a vengeance. You know, I, and what happened is it spiraled really fast for me. I realized very quickly I'd gone from not drinking at all to drinking a lot every night. How much? Well, I mean, for me it was a lot. You know, it might not sound like that much, but for me I was drinking, you know, I'd open a bottle of wine with my husband and he'd have a glass and I'd have the rest of it. And the problem was that then I'd still be thinking about having more. I think the biggest thing for me was just asking for help, like realizing that I can't do this by myself because I made the promise to myself so many times and then would, you know, by five o'clock be talking myself back into a glass of wine. You know, it was, and then when I blogged about it, for me it was holding myself accountable. 